everyone, my name is Dila Amalia Hamdinafilah. I'm from Biology of Ringji 2019, State University of Malang. Today I will present it about ecological succession. Have you ever heard about ecological succession? We will discuss it today. This is the subtopic of my presentation. For the first, we will discuss about ecological succession, such as was, what is ecological succession. Ecological succession is a process of change in the spatial structure of an ecological community over time. The time scale can be detected, for example, uh, after a wildfire or even millions of years after a mass extinction. And then, the second, we will discuss about the types of succession. There are two types of succession. Um, the first type is primary succession. Primary succession is the series of community change which occur on an entirely new habitat which has never been colonized before. For example, a newly quarried rock base or sand dunes. This is the step of primary succession. We can see this is a bare rock and then pioneer species growth such as lichens, small annual plants and lichens, and then become grasses and perennials, and then become to intermediate species such as grasses and shape intolerant trees. Things. And then the last step is the climax community. It's like oak and hickory. This is the time a uh, hundred of years. And then the second types of succession is secondary succession. Secondary succession is the series of community change which take place on a previously colonized but disturb or damage habitat. For example, after felling trees in a woodland, land clearance, or a fire. This is a step of secondary succession. We can see this is a maybe burning forest, it's fire, and then grow pioneer species like annual plants, grasses, and perennials become intermediate species like grasses, beans, young oak, and hickory. And then the last step is climax community, mature oak and hickory forest. This is the time, one until two, three until four, and then like this. So what is the difference between the primary succession and then secondary succession? If primary succession is gradual growth of organism in an area that was previously bare, such as rock, for example, lichens, mosses, and ferns, will first appear on bare rock. And then the secondary succession, uh, in contrast with primary succession, the secondary succession is a response to a disturbance, for example, forest fire, tsunami, flood, or an abandoned field. And then we will talk about causes of succession. There are three causes of succession. For the first is initial causes. What is initial causes? Initial causes, those are responsible for the destruction of existing habitat. Such occurrences happen due to the following factor. The first is climatic factors such as wine, deposits, erosion, fire, etc. And then biotic factors such as various activity of organism. And then the second factor is continuing causes. 
What is continuing causes? Continuing causes, those are responsible for change in population, shifting features of an area. Such factors are hmm, migration for safety against outside aggregation, and then migration due to industrialization and urbanization, and then as a reactionary step against local problems and feeling of competition and then the last is stabilizing causes stabilizing causes is causes which bring stability to the communities such factors are the first is fertility of land climatic condition of the area and then abundance of availability of minerals and etc And then the next we will discuss about succession stage. Succession stage for the first is primary succession and then secondary succession, intermediate stage, and then climax for the first uh, for primary and secondary succession. We have discussed it. Let's we discuss about intermediate stage. Intermediate stage it is a transitional stage, which is a stage toward a more stable state or climax. Uh, so, is it just a transitional stage toward a climax? Is more stable. And then, uh, we will talk about climax communities. Climax communities is the final stage of succession remaining relatively unchanged until destroyed by an event such as fire or human interference. The emergence of a climax stage of succession might occur more quickly in some ecosystem, but uh, it's not likely never occur in other biomes that experience routine disturbance. Example of quickly Forming climax communities are the short grass and long grass and then long grass prairies of the Great Plains of the United States. And then the next one is Based on the place of formation, there are three types of climax communities. There are hydrosphere. Hydrosphere is a succession formed in a freshwater ecosystem. And then the second is halosphere. Halosphere is a succession formed in a brackish water ecosystem. And then the last is serosphere. Serosphere is succession that was formed in a desert area. This is the example of climax communities such as California redwood forest. Why must California redwood forest? Because California, for instance, includes many different and distinct ecosystems. One of the most unique places is the redwood forest. It's like this. This is the picture. And then, which can be found only in the fog banks along the coastal waterways of the northern part of the state. So, is it the unique in California? Okay, this is the last of my presentation. Thank you, and I'm sorry for and my mistake. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.